we stand on the threshold of a new beginning. In order to ensure our security and continuing stability, the Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire, for a safe and secure society, which I assure you will last for 10,000 years. An empire that will continue to be ruled by this august body and a sovereign ruler chosen for life. Emperor Palpatine, in his imperial inaugural address the empire can be said to have begun with the scheming aspiration of the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, known as his alter ego Senator Palpatine of Naboo. He was inspired by the resurrected Sith Empire, which dominated the galaxy over three millennia earlier. In 32 BBY, he began manipulating pivotal events, such as instigating the Naboo Crisis, in which he used the Trade Federation, led by Viceroy Newt Gunray as a pawn, to lead Queen Amidala into calling for a vote of no confidence in Supreme Chancellor Finnis Valorum, effectively replacing him and eventually winning the Battle of Naboo with assistance from the Gungans. When his first apprentice, Darth Maul, was defeated by Obi-Wan Kenobi, Sidious took on the former Jedi Count Dooku as his new apprentice. In 24 BBY, Dooku then helped found the Confederacy of Independent Systems with the formation of the Separatist Council, led again by Newt Gunray, on Raxus Prime, igniting the Separatist Crisis. Palpatine, at the end of his second term, was allowed to stay in power until the crisis was resolved. This eventually led to the Clone Wars, which started with the First Battle of Geonosis in 22 BBY. At the beginning of the Clone Wars, Palpatine was an efficient and effective leader who quickly brought to an end the corruption in the Senate. His authority was greatly increased even more so than at the start of the Separatist Crisis, via acting Senator Jar Jar Binks, while the Senate willingly furnished as they gave more and more emergency powers to him. Eventually, the Senate lost most of its power and became little more than a formality that Palpatine had to go through to pass his laws. Yet the Senate retained some symbolic power. Chancellor Palpatine still hid behind the pomp and circumstance of appealing to the Senate, but his power existed in his control over thousands of senators that he had brought into his own web of corruption. However, after the death of Count Dooku on board the Invisible Hand above Coruscant and the death of General Grievous on Utapau, Anakin Skywalker discovered that Palpatine was a Sith Lord, and after informing Jedi Master Mace Windu of his discovery, a Jedi task force led by Windu himself attempted to arrest him. After a brief duel, Palpatine appeared to be defeated. Skywalker arrived and demanded the Sith Lord's life be spared, that he might stand trial. Deeply troubled, Skywalker nonetheless helped Palpatine kill Windu, prompting him to be held under Palpatine's sway as his new apprentice and enforcer, Darth Vader. Palpatine then proceeded to carry out the Great Jedi Purge, including the massacre of the Jedi Temple itself, which eliminated almost all of the Jedi, while simultaneously wiping out the leaders of the Confederacy on Mustafar, including the Separatist Council representative Newt Gunray, who was Anakin's last victim. The Separatists were reduced to a shadow of their former selves, thus bringing an end to the Clone Wars. Secure in his power and position, Palpatine used the so-called Jedi Rebellion to issue the declaration of a new order and declared himself Emperor of the Galaxy in 19 BBY, replacing the Galactic Republic with the Galactic Empire. Likewise, Palpatine vowed that the newly formed Empire would reign with 10,000 years of peace. Many people under the new Empire enthusiastically supported the vision outlined in the declaration of a new order, largely due to the violence that had plagued the galaxy for so long. Many senators wholeheartedly supported the new government while a number of more cautious senators chose to watch and wait to see how the new government would handle the affairs of state. It promised to trade frailty for strength, chaos for order, and uncertainty for decisiveness. In retrospect, the foundation of the empire had already been set down during Palpatine's chancellorship and all potential threats eliminated, therefore, the transition from republic to empire was relatively smooth. It is important to note that not all of the senators liked what they saw. Shortly before the start of the Clone Wars in 22 BBY, the Loyalist Committee was formed by more democratic senators. By the eve of the Empire, near the end of the Clone Wars in 19 BBY, the Loyalist Committee was reorganized into the Petition of 2000, who sought to bring the worries of these senators to Palpatine. This petition was led by Bail Organa, Morn Mothma, and Padme Amidala. Palpatine's dismissal of their concerns was one factor that led Organa and Mothma to help found the alliance to restore the Republic.